Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 1 Mathematics Chapter 8 Lines and Angles. In this chapter, you will learn 8.1 Lines and Angles, 8.2 Angles Related to Intersecting Lines, 8.3 Angle Related to Parallel Lines and Transversals. 8.1 Lines and Angles A line has no ends. A line segment has ends. It is denoted using capital letters at both ends. An angle is denoted using the symbol, with capital letters at the vertex, and at the ends of the two arms of the angle. Congruency of line segments, and congruency of angles. Congruent line segments, is line segments having the same length. Congruent angles, is the two angles having the same size. Estimate and measure the length of a line segment, and the size of an angle. The length of a line segment can be estimated by comparing the length, with objects of a known length. If an eraser is known to have a length of 4 cm, then the length of line AB can be estimated as approximately 10 cm. The size of an angle, can be estimated by recognizing the right angle first. An angle that appears less than a right angle, has an angle less than 90 degrees. An angle that appears more than a right angle, has an angle more than 90 degrees. Properties of the angle on a straight line, a reflex angle, and the angle of one whole turn. 1. The angle on a straight line is 180 degrees. Thus, the sum of angles, on a straight line is 180 degrees. 2. A reflex angle is an angle, with a size more than 180 degrees, and less than 360 degrees. 3. The angle of one whole turn is 360 degrees. Thus, the sum of angles at a point is 360 degrees. Properties of complementary angles, supplementary angles, and conjugate angles. Complementary angles. 1. The sum of the two angles is always 90 degrees in complementary angles. These angles are known as complementary angles. Supplementary angles. 2. The sum of the two angles is always 180 degrees in supplementary angles. These angles are known as supplementary angles. Conjugate angles. 3. The sum of the two angles is always 360 degrees in conjugate angles. These angles are known as conjugate angles. Solve problems. In the diagram, P and 54 degrees are complementary angles. It is given that P and Q are supplementary angles, and the angle conjugate to R is 260 degrees. Calculate the values of P, Q, R and S. Solution, P plus 54 degrees equals 90 degrees. Thus, P equals 90 degrees minus 54 degrees equals 36 degrees p plus q equals 180 degrees 36 degrees plus q equals 180 degrees thus q equals 180 degrees minus 36 degrees equals 144 degrees r plus 260 degrees equals 360 degrees Thus, R equals 360 degrees minus 260 degrees, equals 100 degrees. S plus 100 degrees, plus 144 degrees, plus 36 degrees, plus 54 degrees, equals 360 degrees. S plus 334 degrees, equals 360 degrees. S equals 360 degrees minus 334 degrees equals 26 degrees. Perform a geometrical construction. The work of using geometrical tools or geometry software to do drawings of accurate measurements 
is known as geometrical construction. 1. Line segments A section of a line, with a fixed length, is known as a line segment. Construct a line segment AB, with a length of 8 cm, using only a pair of compasses and a ruler. 1. Draw a line, and mark point A on the line. 2. Measure a distance of 8 cm on the compasses. 3. From point A, with the distance of 8 cm on the compasses, mark point B on the line. 2. Perpendicular bisectors A perpendicular bisector is a line segment that divides a given line segment into two parts of equal measurement. If line AB is perpendicular to line segment CD and divides CD into two parts of equal length, then line AB is the perpendicular bisector of CD. Construct the perpendicular bisector of line segment PQ by using only a pair of compasses and a ruler. 1. Place the compass at one end of line segment, point P, adjust the compass to slightly longer than half the line segment length, line PQ. 2. Draw arcs above and below the line PQ. 3. Without altering the distance on the compass, draw two arcs from other end of line, point Q, one above and one below PQ. 4. Draw a line joining the points, of intersection of the arcs constructed. 3. Perpendicular line to a straight line. Using only a pair of compasses and a ruler, construct the perpendicular line from point M to the straight line PQ. 1. With the same distance on the compass from M, construct two arcs, from M intersecting PQ. Label the two points of intersection as R and S. Two. With the same distance on the compass from R and from S, Construct an arc from R and from S respectively, so that the arcs intersect. 3. Draw a line joining M and the point of intersection of the arc. 2. Using only a pair of compasses and a ruler, construct the perpendicular line to PQ, passing through point N. 1. With the same distance on the compass, Construct two arcs, from N intersecting PQ. Label the two points of intersection as R and S. 2. Widen the compasses to a distance, more than NR or NS. 3. N with the same distance from R N from S on the compasses, construct two arcs above, and below PQ respectively, so that the arcs intersect. 3. Draw a line joining N, and the points of intersection of the arcs constructed. Four Parallel lines Parallel lines are always the same distance apart, and never touch each other. The red line is parallel to the blue line. By using a pair of compasses and a ruler, construct the line that is parallel to PQ, passing through point R. 1. With the distance on the compasses equals to the length of PR, construct an arc of P passing through R. 2. Keeping the same distance on the compasses, construct an arc from Q. 3. With the distance on the compasses, equals to the length of PQ, construct an arc from R, intersecting the arc constructed. 4. Draw a line joining the point of intersection constructed. Construct angles and angle bisectors. 1. Constructing an angle of 60 degrees, using only a pair of compasses and a ruler, construct line PQ so that angle PQR equals 60 degrees. 1. Construct a long arc from Q intersecting QR. 
Mark the point of the intersection as S. 2. Keeping the same distance on the compasses, construct an arc from S, intersecting the arc constructed. Mark the point of the intersection as P. 3. Draw a line joining point P and Q thus, angle PQR equals 60 degrees. Two angle bisectors. The angle bisector is a line, which divides a given angle into two equal parts. Example, line OS is the angle bisector of angle PQR. Using only a pair of compasses and a ruler, construct the angle bisector of angle PQR. 1. Construct a long arc from Q intersecting both arcs QP and QR. Mark the two points of intersection as M and N. 2. With the same distance on the compasses, construct an arc from M and from N respectively. So that the arcs intersect. Mark the point of the intersection at S. 3. Draw a line joining point Q and point S. QS is the angle bisector of angle PQR. Angle PQS equals angle SQR equals 30 degrees. Beginning with the construction of an angle of 60 degrees, we can construct our angles accurately using only a pair of compasses and a ruler. 8.2 angles related to intersecting lines, vertically opposite angles and adjacent angles at intersecting lines, vertical angles are the angles opposite each other when two lines intersect. Vertical in this case means they share the same vertex. Vertical angles are equal, congruent. A equals B. Adjacent angles, two angles are adjacent when they have a common side and a common vertex and do not overlap each other. Angle ABC is adjacent to angle CBD. Because they have a common side, which is line CB, and they have a common vertex, which is point B, and the two angles do no overlap. The sum of adjacent angles at intersecting lines is 180 degrees. 105 degrees plus 75 degrees equals 180 degrees. If two intersecting lines are perpendicular to each other, then all angles at the intersecting lines have the same size of 90 degrees. Example, the diagram shows two intersecting lines. Identify in state, A, the vertically opposite angles. Angles P and R are the vertically opposite angles. B, the adjacent angles at the intersecting lines. Angles P and Q, Q and R are the adjacent angles at the intersecting lines. Determine the values of the angles at intersecting lines. Example, in the diagram, PSQ, RSDU and PTV are straight lines. Find the values of X and Y. Solution, X plus 135 degrees equals 180 degrees. X equals 180 degrees minus 135 degrees equals 45 degrees, y equals 62 degrees. Solve problems, in the diagram, P, O, R and T, O, Q are straight lines. Find the values of X and Y. Solution, angle P, O, T equals 72 degrees, X plus 60 degrees equals 72 degrees, X equals 72 degrees minus 60 degrees equals 12 degrees. Angle TOR plus 72 degrees equals 180 degrees. Angle TOR equals 180 degrees minus 72 degrees equals 108 degrees. Y plus Y equals 108 degrees. 2Y equals 108 degrees. Y equals 54 degrees. 8.3 angle related to parallel lines and transversals. 
A straight line that intersects two or more straight lines is known as a transversal. The red line is the transversal. Corresponding angles, alternate angles, and interior angles. When a transversal intersects two or more parallel lines, one, the corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles, are the angles in matching corners. 2. The alternate angles are equal. Alternate angles, are a pair of angles on the inner side, of each of those two lines, but on opposite sides of the transversal. 3. The sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees. Example, determine whether two straight lines are parallel. Solution, these lines are parallel because a pair of corresponding angles are equal. These lines are not parallel, because a pair of consecutive interior angles, do not add up to 180 degrees, 81 degrees plus 101 degrees, equals 182 degrees. These lines are parallel, because a pair of alternate interior angles are equal. Example, in each of the following diagrams, Determine whether straight line PQ and straight line RS are parallel. Solution A. PQ and RS are parallel. B. 42 degrees plus 128 degrees equals 170 degrees does not equal 180 degrees. Thus, PQ and RS are not parallel. Determine the values of angles related to parallel lines and transversals. Example, in the diagram, PQ, RS and 2 are parallel lines. Find the values of A, B and C. Solution, A equals 60 degrees, B equals 118 degrees, B plus C equals 180 degrees, 118 degrees plus C equals 180 degrees c equals 180 degrees minus 118 degrees equals 62 degrees angles of elevation and depression the angle of elevation is the angle between the horizontal line and the line of sight which is above the horizontal line it is formed when an observer looks upwards the angle of depression is the angle between the horizontal line and the line of sight, which is below the horizontal line. It is formed when an observer looks downwards. Example, the diagram shows the positions of Devi and Umi, at two buildings on a horizontal ground. Draw and label, A, angle A to denote the angle of elevation, of Umi from Devi. B. Angle B to denote the angle of depression of Devi from Umi. The concept map for Form 1 Chapter 8 is as below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. And if you got any question can comment below. Thanks for watching.